Hello, everyone. I'm Xing Li from Zhejiang University. I'm honored to share our recent work on automated policy generation for inter-service access control of microservices. It's joint work with Yan, Zhiqiang, Sheng, and Jin. The architecture of cloud applications is constantly evolving. This is a traditional monolithic cloud application consisting of four modules, front-end, back-end, database, and logging. The four modules are packaged and deployed as a whole, which leads flexibility when upgrading and scaling the modules individually. The microservice architecture aims to solve this problem. It split a large, complex application into multiple microservices according to its business boundaries. Each of them can be independently developed, deployed, and upgraded, thereby significantly improving the flexibility of software development and maintenance. In order to efficiently manage the communications between microservices, Service Mesh emerges as a dedicated communication infrastructure layer. It uses proxies to manage all network traffic among microservices and transparently add features like access control, traffic management, and monitoring. However, the communications that were previously conducted by local invitations are now exposed through the network which creates a potential attached service. For example, if the logging service is compromised, hiding behind its IP address and certificate, the attacker may directly talk to the database service to obtain sensitive information. To defend against this kind of attack, popular microservice infrastructures such as Kubernetes and Istio provide inter-service access control mechanisms. With authorization policies, the administrator can specify that only the backend service can access the database service. Thus, this attack can be prevented. While these mechanisms seem powerful and promising, currently they still rely on careful manual configuration, which is time-consuming, error-prone and inflexible, not suitable for large-scale and dynamically changing microservice applications. To automatically generate security policies for distributed systems, existing efforts can be divided into three categories, document-based approaches, history-based approaches, and model-based approaches. However, there are drawbacks regarding accuracy, completeness, and agility makes them unsuitable for microservices. As a distributed system, microservice applications have their unique characteristics. First, microservices are small, which means a central service has low internal complexity. Moreover, the inter-service invitation manner in the same application is relatively uniform, and the amount of involved protocols and the libraries are limited. These characteristics provide us an opportunity to extract the inter-service invocation logic with static analysis. We design AutoArmor, an automatic inter-service access control policy generator. Its workflow contains two phases. In the request extraction phase, it uses static analysis to obtain the requests a service may initiate and build the inter-service invocation logic of the entire application. In the policy management phase, it uses a novel permission graph to generate access control policies and keeps them updated over time. AutoArmor consists of three components, an offline static analysis engine responsible for request extraction, a permission engine for maintaining and updating the permission graph, and a policy generator for translating the graph into access control policies. Let's take, uh, take the uh, deployment of microservice E as an example 
to go through the workflow of auto number. At first, service E's source code is submitted to the CI server. The static analysis engine analyzes its code and generates a manifest file to describe the invocations that it may initiate. At deployment time, the permission engine passes the manifest file and inserts E into the application's permission graph. With the graph changing, the uh, policy generator calculates the uh, access control policies that need to be added or modified. Afterward, it issues the policies to the control plane of the uh, microservice infrastructure, which further distributes them to services proxies for uh, policy enforcement. Here are some significant technical details. In the request extraction phase, we aim to extract all inter-service invocation requests and their detailed attributes from the code. Since microservices uh, communicate with, with uh, network API invocations, we can only focus on the code related to them and use program slicing to obtain the smallest but significant code fragments to uh, reduce the complexity of uh, static analysis. Specifically, our method consists of three steps. First, we model the used invocation libraries and scan the service code to identify the statements that initiate inter-service invocations. Next, starting from these statements, we perform backward uh, tent propagation on the control flow graphs to get the program slices associated with each invocation. Finally, we extract the re relevant attributes such as URL and method from the slices via semantic analysis. In the policy management phase, we design a permission graph to optimize the generated policy set. In microservice applications, multiple versions of the same service may exist at the same time, and they may have different inter-service dependencies. Thus, it is necessary to distinguish them in the authorization. However, since they belong to the same microservice, they serve similar responsibilities. So most of their requests should be identical. Therefore, Generating uh, separate policies for each version will introduce much redundancy. In the uh, permission graph, we use service node and the version node to integrate the permissions shared by all versions of the same service. By this means, we eliminate redundant access control policies as well as unnecessary policy updates. We evaluated uh, auto armor with five popular open source microservice applications, including 64 services developed in six programming languages. The first question is, can auto armor extract the inter-service invocation logic? The effectiveness of request extraction is indicated by two metrics, whether it can identify the invocations in the code and whether it can extract the detailed attributes of them. The result shows that for 755 requests, the identification rate is 100%, and the attribute extraction rate is 99.5%. Besides, since AutoArmor reduces the search space for static analysis, the average analysis time for each microservices is only 57 seconds. The second question is, can AutoArmor efficiently generate, manage, and update access control policies? We measured its processing time in dealing with this task and compared it with the baseline method that is generating policies for all service versions separately. 
the result shows that auto armor's policy generation time for each application is less than two seconds, and it achieved better performance than the baseline method in policy update and removal. For a large application with 1,000 services, it takes less than 12 seconds to generate 900 policies, which indicates its potential for large-scale scenarios. The third question is, can AutoArmor improve the application's performance via the optimized policy set? We measured the end-to-end -end performance of the applications when deploying the policy set generated by the baseline method and AutoArmor separately. The result shows that by eliminating redundant policies, it accelerates the runtime policy check, thereby enables the application to achieve better overall performance. We can finally conclude AutoArmor. The first automated policy generation tool for inter-service access control of microservices. It includes a static analysis-based request extraction mechanism and a graph-based policy management mechanism. Our evaluation shows that it can effectively bridge the current policy generation gap for microservices with only a minor overhead. That's all. Thanks for your attention.